Hi everybody, welcome back to Fossil Media. Today I thought I'd go through how to verify a downloaded ISO image file using a couple different methods. The first one will be with either the SHA-256 sum or the SHA-512 sum hash files. And the second will be with the PGP signature. If you've ever wondered what the SHA sum or signature files are beside your download, uh, hopefully today this video will help clarify some of that for you. And maybe even help them help you uh, use them to verify your downloads. So if I go over to the browser, as you can see, I'm on the Debian download page. And if I scroll down, you can see all the ISOs. But right at the top, we have four files here that are used to validate those ISOs. And the uh, SHA-256 sum and the SHA-512 sum hash files are used to validate the download itself. So that would be these ISOs down here. And then the SHA-256 sum sign and SHA-512 sum sign, those are the signature files. And those are used to validate the hashes. So which can be a little bit confusing. I know the first time I tried this, I tried to validate the download with the signature itself, uh, which of course didn't work. Uh, because here for another example, if we go over to say maybe Tor here, um, the signature file that's accompanied with the download is used to validate the actual download itself. So you download the application and then the signature file, and then you use that to validate the download. But over here on Debian, we validate the download with the hash, the hash file, and then we use the signature to validate the hashes. So a little bit different. And the commands do look, uh, yeah, are different. So it's just kind of something to get used to or to look out for. But uh, we'll go through both of those today. And I think actually I'll start with Tor. Because I did make a video on Tor a while ago uh, explaining a couple different tools he uses, like uh, Kali Torify and Proxy Chains. But I did, however, forget to show how to validate the download. So... That's kind of in the back of my head for a while now. So yeah, I just like to get that out of the way. So to do that, I've already uh, downloaded Tor just to save some time, uh, but I do still need the signature. So, and you can obviously just click on these to download them. But I think what I'll do is I'll just uh, right click on this, select copy link. Yeah, and I'll just use it in the terminal because we're going to go in there soon anyways. So if I see into my downloads and go to Tor, Oh, you can see we already got the application there. So now to download the signature, I'll just say wget with a space, and then I'll paste in that URL that I just copied and enter. And we're all done. So now if I ls, you can see the signature file right there with the .asc extension. So yeah, I think now we're uh, good to uh, go and import the, de the uh, developer's key. But before I do that, I think I'm just going to jump back to the website here and uh, make sure. So to do that, or to pull up those instructions on how to do that, all we have to do is click on this little uh, question mark right here beside signature. And scroll down. Oh, one thing I did forget to tell you too is you will need to install GNUPG. Uh, that's the GNU Privacy Guard, which most likely will already come pre-installed on your system. But in case it's not, you can just install it with sudo apt install gnupg. And that's all lowercase. So let's scroll down a bit more here. Yeah, it says right here we have to fetch the key. Not the same as importing it. So to do that, all we have to do is copy this command. And go back to the terminal. Maybe I'll clean this up a bit. And then paste it in there. And we can just run the command just as it is and hit enter. And there we go, our key is imported. So to get a better look at that key or just to list all your keys, you can just say gpg dash dash list keys, hit enter, and there it is right there. So now that we have the key imported, uh, let's see what's next. Go back here, and it says it should look something like this, which it does. So we are allowed to continue. And then right here, it's asking or telling us to uh, save it to a file. And we can use this command right here. Copy that. 
And same with the last one, we don't have to modify it in any way. We can just paste it in, hit enter and go. And after doing that, if you ls, you should now see this file, uh, Tor Keyring. Uh, which should be encrypted, but uh, just out of curiosity, I'm just gonna have a quick peek at it here. Yeah, definitely a big encrypted mess, but just wanted to satisfy my curiosity. Now let's see what's next. I guess verifying the signature. So right here, it's just uh, asking us to verify that that directory was created, uh, which it was. And then to verify it, you can go down here to Linux and just copy this command right here. And paste in the terminal. This one, however, that we will have to modify uh, for a couple different reasons. Uh, as you can see, the path is different because um, I created this Tor directory but it's just going right into downloads. If you didn't do that and you just downloaded everything right into your downloads, you can just run the command, well, pretty much as is. All you have to do is change the version number. Because as you notice, that's changed too. Up here, I got 12.5.1, and this is 12.0.7, whatever. So yeah, just a couple of things to change. And I think I'll just start with the paths. So I'll go up to the first one here. And it's kind of hard to see here with the terminal because the uh, the text is wrapped. But maybe if I just jump over the browser again quick, uh, you can see this command's kind of broken up into two, two different areas. So right here, we're dealing with the uh, the signature file itself for the .asc extension, and then the actual application after that. So if I go back here, uh, we have to change this. At least I do. Tor. The directory I created. And also add it right here too. So that takes care of the directories. Next thing we'll have to do is uh, I take care of the uh, name of the package itself or the version. So I'm just going to copy this. And yeah, that was the uh, signature file. And then I'm just going to go back here and delete all this and paste that in there. Yeah, like so. And then I'm going to copy this. And go over here. Get rid of all that and paste that in like that. So that should be good. I think the paths right now. Yeah, paths good and the versions are good. So after I hit enter, it should uh, tell us that we're validated, hopefully. So I'll just do that. Yep, perfect, good signature from the uh, Tor browser developers. So that would be how you uh, validate your uh, Tor download. So Debian's a little bit different though. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll just get to that now. So I'll clear this. And go back to directory here. And go into Debian. And as you can see, I already have the uh, ISO already downloaded there, just to save some time. And that did take a while. I think that was almost an hour to download that, so. It, uh, yeah, it just saves a lot of time here, prevents me from having to pause video. Okay, so for Debian, I'm just going to go back to that website, or Debian's website here, and I guess we're all done with Tor. And I'm going to need to grab these four files here. So I'm just going to copy that one, go over to the terminal. And just use wget, put a space in there, and paste that in. Go back here, copy this guy. Paste that in. And then the 512 sums. And then grab the signature. And paste that and enter. 
I uh, should have grabbed all those. Now if I less. Yep, there they all are. Uh, we got the uh, Shaw 256 sum, uh, the sign, 512 sum, and the signature. Yep, we're good to go. So I'll clear this. So now what we have to do is just import the key. And to do that, you have to go back to Debian here. And scroll up a bit, and you'll see right here, verification guide. I'm just going to click on that. And here's the different keys we can use right here. Um, so we have one here from 2009, uh, another from 2011, and another from 2014. But the one from 2014 is the uh, Debian testing. So I'm not going to use that one. So I guess the next recent one after that would be this guy right here. And uh, yeah, here's the ID right here. So we just have to grab that. So I'll throw that in my clipboard. And actually, there's one other thing we need first. Um, if I just, I'm just going to open this up in a new tab, the Debian uh, GPG curing. And here's the command that we use to import the, uh, the keys with. So I'm just going to copy that. Back up the terminal. Paste that in there. But we will have to change the end though. Because uh, this key will be different right here. So I'm just going to leave that uh, the 0 and the X there. And then we can go back here. And get this guy right here. So I'm just going to copy that. Go back to terminal. Paste that in there. Hit enter. Actually, before I do that, I'm just going to double check, make sure it was the right one. Um, Debian CD signing key. Yeah, that's it. So I'll hit enter. And there we go. Let's import our keys for us. And to get a look at that key, we can just do what we did before with uh, Tor. You say GPG dash dash list keys. Hit enter. And we can just uh, double check it here. So we want to find E98, uh, E98, and yep, so that obviously wasn't the whole key, but after we import the key, it uh, gives us its entire ID. So now we can now uh, validate or verify the ISO. And to do that, all we have to do is say uh, GPG dash dash verify, or before I do that, um, OS and say GPG dash dash version or sorry, uh, GPD dash dash verify with a space and then I guess I'll go with the 512. So I'm just going to copy that, paste that in there, have a space. And then grab the uh, SHA SIM file, copy, paste. So first the signature and then the file. And then if we hit enter here, hopefully it'll say good signature. And there we go. Good signature from Debian signing key, blah, blah, blah. So now that we know that the, um, the hashes are good, all that's really left to do is just to validate the download itself with the hash. And we can do that very easily. So to do that, if we say we want to use the SHA-256, you can just say SHA-256 uh, sum with a space. And then copy and paste in this guy. Right there. And that will generate the hash for us. And then we just have to compare that with the list that we downloaded from the website. It shouldn't take too much longer. Yeah, and there we go. So now we have to do is uh, have a look in here and make sure that's in there. So I do that. We can say cat. Um, copy that. Paste that there. And the KDE 
is the version that I'm after here. So, um, KDE ISO right there. So that's the one we want. And we want that to match this guy right here. And as you can see, it does. And if these are off too, they'll be wildly off. So chances are if the first few uh, characters match and the last few match, you're good. But you can always double check if you want and just go through the whole thing, but it uh, looks good to me. So maybe we can just do the same thing now with the, uh, the 512 sums. And I'm sure we're, uh, what we've already done is already plenty adequate, but uh, we've already downloaded the files. Why not? Or why not give it a try here? So we can just say the same thing. Uh, Shaw, but this time 512 sum. And then the space. And copy the name of your application and paste that in there. And enter. And then we obviously I just repeat the exact same process we just did, uh, except it'll be much longer hash. Maybe a little bit difficult to read on the screen, but I will see. Yeah, and there it is. You can see it's quite a bit longer. So now I'm just going to cut out our uh, SHA-512 sums file. Copy, paste, enter. And this makes it a little more difficult. I um, guess I could unzoom this, but... I'll zoom it back in here in a minute. I seriously doubt you guys can see any of that. Um, KDE ISO right there. And then I'll make that a bit bigger. And I'll just try to find it. Yeah, there it is right there. So C9C and then ends in 65C. So we got C9C and ends in uh, 65C. So I'm pretty sure that's correct. I could go through each one of those characters, but I'm not going to. And uh, definitely happy with that. So let me I'll just clear this out. So if you've ever wondered what those signature and hash files are beside your download, uh, hopefully now you'll uh, not only understand what they are, but you'll uh, know how to use them to verify your stuff. But I think that's it for today though. Uh, thank you guys again for watching. I uh, hope this helped and uh, hope to see you on the next one. Bye for now.